Is your account looking kind of dry and you really don't like how it's set up? Well, I have four extensions for you to use to make it look nice, a ton of new features, and you can actually fix the old Roblox way. So Roblox has added a new section called recommended for you. Sponsor was basically already a thing, but there's also just a ton of games you're like, oh, I don't really care about because maybe some of them you care about, but then you want your favorites back. You want everything back. So I have these extensions for you to actually get them back. One of the extensions actually does this. The other three are just kind of alternatives, like they can help you, but then they can just be over excessive. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Row Pro. I've had this one for a, probably a while now. Make sure to verify this to be able to let it work. So as you can see, there's a lot of general features and then there's also trading features on the bottom here. Basically, you wanna look at the general features and you want to find most played experiences on home page. And it kinda of just shows you like what it actually looks like. So your most played games. So once you have that, you actually have the most played on the top there, and it kind of just gives you a certain amount of hours, which you have here, which I pet some pretty nice. And it kind of just gives you a second here. Now for the bottom here to have the continue, and then the favorites and stuff like that, you actually want to download BTR Roblox. I'll have the links on all of these in the description, so you guys don't have to go and search through all of them and get a virus or anything. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. So if we go to the home section right here, you can just basically check all of these because Show more friends, move favorites to the top, show friend usernames, and hide friend activity if you want to. Usually I keep that on just because I like what people are doing. And then just refresh the page. Now after that, you can see you have a ton of more friends, you have favorites, and then you have continued. Now, this does switch the favorites and the continue, but we'll have another extension to switch all of this too. Also, if you don't like having this many friends on your homepage, you could just check it off. Now to switch the continue and the favorites, all you have to do is download row seal, which is a new setting here. So if we go to the settings for this one, as you can see, we have a ton of sorts here. Now you can just do put continue sort at the top and then put home favorites sort at the top too. So these continue should be at the top and then it should be the favorites. So if we go back to the home, as you can see, continues on the top and then we have favorites and then we have recommender for you and all these other stuff. But these are basically the two main ones you probably want just because you want to play the game again or you want to see your favorites. And that's generally what you have there. Now the last extension is called Roblox Plus. Now this one doesn't have too much, but if you are a trader and a rap kind of person, you can go down to navigation and you can show DevX trades. So when you click on the Robux in your navigation bar, the DevX amount will be listed below your Robux. And then in the main section, you can go to the profile page and you can show the wrap on your profile, which is pretty cool. So if you got like other people's accounts, you can see their, their stuff, their wrap, and then their inventory and stuff like that. So that's all the extensions I have to talk about. I'm gonna talk about more extensions on RoPro because RoPro is the main, most people use RoPro because it has a lot of features that many people don't know about. And then Ro Seal, I'll talk more about that. So on RoPro, you're not only limited to the amount of features you have here. You can do a subscription that costs actual money like RoPro Plus and then RoPro Rex, but I only recommend using these if you guys actually look at the features that they give you and they're useful for you. The free option is just simply better if you don't have to do any of the other things that you don't need. So the main features that I use that I'll go over are mutual friends. So when you look here, you can have mutual. So if you're like, you go to Preston's account and he goes to his mutuals and you actually have a person in there, that means that friend is also friends of Preston, which is, you know, pretty cool. Experience quick play and experience quick search. Now for quick play, it, there's a little button on the actual like logo of the page that you can see here. You can just click on it or you can randomize the server. But if you click on this, it will go straight to the game instead of having you to click twice. I know it's really lazy, but like it's a really good feature for it. And server filters. This is probably one of the most useful one I ever use. You can actually search through a different servers. So if we go to PetSim99, you can click on filters and you have small servers available space player count and random shuffle now these other ones are for like bro uh, subscriptions only which is kind of sad because those are pretty cool but you have all these other features like small servers and player count which is pretty cool so if you want a small server you can just do that now for the last trick of my sleeve on row seal 
The best thing about this one is badges and events on a Roblox game. If you go into these settings and you go to experience and you scroll down to release update event countdown experience and you check that this is for the events so it enables it added a new section by the servers which i'll show you soon for events and then as you do add additional badge statistics to badge page you can open that one up and then you also want to do better experience badge lists so you also want to do the first one now if you go to petsim again also you, you can see that usually it's basically just server store and then recommended now they have events and badges so if you go to badges you can see all the badges the percentage but you know there's other ones have percentage too but then you can also sort it and you can do active inactive obtained and unobtained so that's everything for the roblox ford extensions that i use now there's a ton out there but i would recommend looking at more videos on what extensions are safe and what to use what they download but i'll have all the downloads in the description anyways if you guys have any questions about the extensions or how i did something go ahead and comment down below and i'll go ahead and tell you guys